Victorian Films presents The Untold Tales of Party Girl, Episode 1, Unprepared for War. You know the agreement. You got five minutes. Not sure how you even managed to get time for this one, but it's above my pay grade. It certainly is. So how about you stop worrying about that and go have a donut while I enjoy my five minutes with my loving sister. Friggin' spoiled rich people thinking they can do whatever they want. Rebecca, you are certainly looking well. Whitney? What the hell do you think you're doing here? Well, it has been several months since the dangerous and feared Red Rose was locked up by some kid in a Halloween costume. Thought I'd check on her. <laughs> I assure you, sister, I am still pretty dangerous behind these bars. I don't think so. With you out of the way, I've been able to better organize the streets of Pyramid City, and things have never been smoother. <laughs> oh, I won't be in here for much longer. And I will get my territory back- I beg to differ. That is all you would do. You have never, and will never, get your pretty little hands dirty. I don't need to. That is what you never seem to understand, and that is what landed you in the tomb. I still have some pull, and I put it to use. I'm going to get that party go bitch if it's the last thing I do. And if I can't do it myself, well, I am sure the asset I hire can do the job. <laughs> I did not give the okay for any cancellation to be carried out on my streets. They ain't your streets, Whitney. Not now. <laughs> not ever. So, Connie, it's me, Rachel. I mean, I know you can see that from the phone number. I mean, if you still have my number saved. But even if you did, you should know it by heart, right? <laughs> we only go back 15 years or so. I mean, look, I know things haven't been the best between us in the last year, but I want to fix that and- Send your message, please press one. To delete it, press two. <sighs> yeah, Rachel, your former best friend is going to listen to you stutter away on a stupidly long message. This sucks. I miss her. We haven't seen each other since the birthday party. The party where I put my foot in my mouth about her sexual orientation and was nearly killed by dark magicians. We haven't hung out since last year. Bad enough, things are frosty at home with my parents. My sister is MIA tracking some big story. I don't have anyone I can just talk to. And there's only so much physical therapy I can get from punching crooks in the face. Speaking of which, seems like things will be slow. Might as well call it a night and... Someone! Someone help! And never mind. Time for more therapy. Just let go of the purse, lady, and you won't get hurt. Give it back to me, you asshole! I'd listen to her, pal. You gotta ask yourself, is the purse worth losing some teeth over? Who are you supposed to be? Don't read the papers much, do ya? Nobody does. Social media? Twitter? Facebook? Instagram? I'm all over it. Party girl? Dead girl as soon as I- As soon as you eat a right hook and fall out. <laughs> right, just what I was thinking. Here's your purse back, ma'am. Thanks a lot. Not a problem. I'll give the cops a call on this gentleman here. It's short-lived, true enough, but I gotta say, it does feel good to punch someone who has it coming. Let's get you nice and tied up and- Hey! What the hell was that? Looks like a throwing star. Embedded in the street? That's gotta be stupid sharp and- Ow! What, what the frack just hit me? 
knocked me a good ten feet in through a door. Made these stars I'm seeing to clear up fast and. あなたがその有名なパーティーガール。感心していないわ。Say what now? I don't speak Japanese. I think that is. You said my name, so I'm going to assume you were talking trash. これはあまりにも簡単ですわ。Nope, didn't catch that one either. <laughs> What's with the outfit? I get cropped on for mine, but you have this geisha girl, Native American thing going on. Cultural appropriation, much? Whoa. Okay. Seeing how you pulled out a couple nice blades, I can see I might have touched a nerve. Any chance we could talk about this? Ha! 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 You are quick. Those blades would likely take my head off if I was going to let you hit me. <clears throat> but I don't plan on that happening. Ha! Wasn't just being cute. This chick is fast. If I didn't have near Olympic level agility and reflexes, this would have been over on her first swipe. Guess sometimes I can be thankful my mother made me take gymnastics for so long. I gotta put some distance between us. Tatte tatakai nasai. I don't understand you. If you are going to talk trash, at least do it in the Queen's English. <sighs> you are a pathetic excuse for a hero. You duck and dodge rather than engage your opponent. Are you scared? I like to think I'm strategic. I'm going to enjoy killing you. I always do with the mouthy ones. I like to take my time with them. I like to hear their mouths let out screams and begging me for the end. Wow, you are seriously messed up. <laughs> and messed up people need some taser action. Now to get out of here. Easy enough, and hey, you're a party girl. Can I get a selfie with you? What? No, get out of here before. No. We are far from done. You didn't have to do that. Collateral damage. Actually, I'm lying. I didn't need to. I just wanted to kill him. Enough. You want my full attention, then? What the? Got me tied in some kind of metal wire. A very special metal alloy. Can't be cut. Can't be broken. <coughs> oh no, little girl. I need you to stay awake for this. You seemed to like my blades so much before. How about I demonstrate just how sharp they are? <coughs> Look at you. Reduced to crawling away like the scared little girl you are, but if I step on that ankle, <laughs> and you go nowhere. Ah, <laughs>、uh, yes. The contract is closed. What? But I haven't closed. My sister may have hired you, but her assets, her contracts, all of her business will now and henceforth be mine. You will still be paid for your time, but there will be no action carried out in my city without my authorization. You got lucky, little girl. Very, very lucky. I trust you will not forget that. I have your scent, tasted your blood. I will find you again, and next time, no one will save you. Yakusoku suru wa. Yeah, yeah, you better, better run. I don't know who was on the other end of that call, but they are my new guardian angel. Ah ha, ha! I haven't got my ass kicked like that in a long time. I can just hear Riley talking about how out of practice I am. Maybe he's right, and maybe I need to fix that. I don't need anyone else getting killed because of me. At least someone called it in. I better get out of here.
Connie, look at this. Apparently Party Girl was fighting some chicken face paint downtown. Someone died. Party Girl? No. All reports are saying it was just some poor guy caught in the crossfire. That's unfortunate. Just another reason she needs to stop what she's doing. She's not all bad, Connie. She had a hand in bringing in those congregation jerks who kidnapped you. She also made Benton Aldridge into a monster! No one put a gun to his head to make him attack people. He needed help, not a fist in the face! <sighs> Look, let's not argue, okay, babe? We have a meeting to prepare for. Yeah, about that meeting. What do you want? This meeting thing. Not sure it's appropriate for this nice, upstanding, conservative part of Pyramid City. And how do you figure that? Me and my boys here don't think this LGFBGQS whatever nonsense needs to have a club meeting here. D-bags like you are why we need to have these meetings. To give us a safe space. Oh, nothing about this is safe for you. Now pack it in and get the hell out of here, or we'll do it for you. Listen here, jerk. <sighs> hey, leave her alone, asshole. Nah, that ain't happening. You two got this coming. This has been the Untold Tales of Party Girl, episode one, Unprepared for War. Featuring the voice talents of Olivia York, Faith Bradham, Marie Cosmos, David Espress, Brandon Jenkins, Aaron Dorsey, Jill Ramos, and Dango Yumi. Featuring music from Kevin McLeod and Incompetent Music. Written by BJ Lewis. Be on the lookout for more episodes coming in the future. Stay up to date with the latest information at facebook.com slash partygirlwebseries or youtube.com slash Films. Give a like subscribe, share it with people who might dig it, and stay tuned for the next untold tale of Party Girl.